Hi, and uh, today we are going to discuss the dynamic behavior of the first order control system by taking an example of pure capacitive system. So let's begin. Dynamic <coughs> behavior of first order control system by taking an example of pure capacitive system so consider a tank let the inlet volumetric flow rate be qi and the outlet volumetric flow rate be qo but in the case of the pure capacitive system here we have a constant displacement pump in order to remove the liquid from this tank so let a be the cross-sectional area of tank cross-sectional area of tank and let rho be the density of fluid inside this tank and h be the liquid head inside the tank and now if you write the mass balance for this system we'll get qi times rho which will be equal to qo times rho plus d by dt of a rho h if you do the dimensioning balance of this equation we'll get kg per second <coughs> and now if the density of the fluid is constant we can rewrite this equation as qi will be equal to qo plus d by dt of a times h <coughs> and now if the cross-sectional area of the tank is constant then that will take out of the derivative sign so qi which will be equal to qo plus a times d by dt of h let's call this the equation number two let's call this the equation number one and at steady state we know that the dh by dt will be zero so qi will be equal to qo let's call this the equation number three and now in the case of the pure capacitive system the volumetric flow rate at the outside of the tank is constant so if we subtract equation number three from equation number two and introduce our deviation variable so at steady state we'll use the subscript s and if you subtract equation number three from from this equation number two and introducing our deviation variable so qi minus qis will be equal to capital q i suppose and h minus hs is equal to capital h so we can write this equation as qi will be equal to a times d by dt of capital h and now if we take the laplace transform on both side of this equation we get qis will be equal to a times s to the power 1 h of s so we know that the transfer function is always the Laplace transform of output division variable divided by the Laplace transform of input division variable so this will be equal to 1 divided by AS which will be equal to HS divided by QIS so this is the transfer function for the pure capacitive system and this is all the information regarding the dynamic behavior of the first order control system by taking an example of pure capacitive system. Thank you for watching this video.